Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Only Trams. You're joining me today for episode number 11 in the series. We're really starting to ramp through the episodes now. You're joining me just down by Louth at the main tram interchange. I do still really like these new balloon trams. I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode with those and it did seem like it, you know, it got a lot of, a lot of positive feedback from that one. Now, in today's episode, we're finally going to do it. I've been reading the comments and it seems like although there is some mixed opinions and some people do not think it's a good idea, the majority of you think it's a good idea to bring in a kind of light rail network and that's what we're going to do. But before we jump into it, I need your guys' help on something. What I want you to do is drop me a comment down below and let me know whether you'd be okay with me skipping forward in time a little bit. I've been having a look offline through what's coming up and the problem we have is between now and sort of around the late 1900s there isn't a great deal of new trams that come in and I'm just sort of wary that if we start connecting everything in now by the time we get the new trams we're literally just going to be replacing trams and I want to sort of be making new routes with new trams if that makes sense. So. I'm thinking if you guys approve, I want to jump forward to sort of around the 1980 mark at the end of this episode and before the next one. But before I do that, I'm going to wait and see what you guys think about it. So please do let me know below. Um, now, what I'm thinking is I've taken a few comments uh, into mind here. And what I want to do is have a sort of an express line when we use this rail network. And what I want to do is connect the first station down from Newark here. I want to go down here. I'm not sure whether we're going to stop at Slough. For the minute, I think we're going to bypass Slough. And then I want to just come round and simply join into this main tram depot here. Not depot, interchange is the word, I suppose, the tram station. And then eventually I want it to carry on down into Canterbury. But for today's episode, just to make sure everything's up and running, I want to bypass Slough and get it connected to Louth. And then I want to change the route that we currently have the balloon trams on because they won't be needed to go to Louth anymore. And after Slough, I want those guys to come from Newark to Slough and then up to Nottingham and West Bedlington on that line. So the only way that all of these towns here will be connected to the rest of the map is from this the, the main route and obviously private road as well. So to start with, I'm going to alter this balloon tram route. I think that is the best place to start. Um, but what we are going to need to do, actually, is put the stops in these towns. So in Nottingham and in West Bedlington. Now, because we are just going to have the one stop in each, I do want them to be a considerable size. So um, if we stick them just before this junction here and after, that should stop us interfering with the, the delivery of the construction materials there. You can see where the tram line's currently coming. If we stop before that, it'll, it'll uh, stop us having to wait behind the passenger trams with the, con the com mat that's been delivered. And then if we come up to West Bedlington then, this is a lot smaller, but again, if we start to try and stay off the main route, I mean, one stop here is going to be enough, so... But I do want it to be able to turn around, so... Let's have a look at what other kind of options we've got for stations here. Maybe we stick one of these era stations in at the end we've used these these terminal loops enough so far i think if we go to here and we have era b we don't want lamps we will go with concrete we don't need two platforms really but it does make it look a bit square doesn't it i think i do prefer to have the two if we were to connect this in down here does this cover the town i'm just wary of the um residential area at the other end it doesn't look like it does but if we were to squeeze one in and just delete the, the well two buildings are going to be at the end here does that cover the whole town then it does and i think i'm happy with that without deleting the residential so we'll go for that and then we need to manage this line so what i want to do is after Slough here, we don't need to do Albert Road anymore. Or actually, we could come out here. Yeah, let's do that. So if we go for a medium street here with electric. And then from here, we want to connect onto this main road. And then we're also going to have to upgrade. And down here, there we go. So let me try and get my head around what's happening here. So we're going from 5 to 6. So after number 6... We want to delete down to 10. 
So, seven, eight, nine, and then ten will be Albert Road again. So in between these two, after six, we want to stop at Nottingham. Oh, auto save, and that's automatically said straight away. It won't do that. Uh, I know why that is. Let's pause the game before we break everything. I think that is because we haven't um, upgraded the tram track yet. We haven't upgraded the road to electric. Stop at Albert on the way back, and then it should come down. So now if I change to country road, medium, we want electricity, and then we want to go from this junction here. We do want... It looks like it's trying to put gravel down. Ah, uh, it isn't. It looked like it was trying to put the dirt track down there. Sorry, but it wasn't. It's just the edge of the road. When it's highlighted blue or red like this, it's hard to see the, the asphalt underneath. And I think sometimes that's what catches me out a little bit. If I connect this in, and then we want to go back to Medium Street. We want to upgrade the route into town here. I'm hoping, yes, you can see now that the red mark has gone and there's no issue with that route now. Um, those guys can make it all the way up now. I just want to make sure that we're on the correct sides of the road everywhere. It looks like we are. There's no weird turning around in the middle of the road in Nottingham. There isn't. They're using the correct sides of the road there. Okay, so those guys now are no longer connected to this main route. So we can kick it off and get people moving down from Nottingham uh, from West, Nottingham and West Bedlington down here. But what we want to do now is look at this. Now, the thing that's made this all of this possible, what we're about to do, is one mod from the workshop, and it's called New Streetcar System. I will add it to the mods list at the end of this episode, but just in case I forget, you guys can do it. And you can see here, these are the two new tram stations that come with it. Um, and it hooks up to a normal tram depot. But what you do is you, if you click on here, if we come under streets and we click here, there's these new things here now. So you'll see there's a new tram track with fences that's got speed limit of 25 miles per hour. But then when we're out, outside of the towns and we don't need the fences anymore, we can go up to 37 miles per hour. And then we've got also got a one-way uh, a one-way single track as well. So to start off with, I think what we are going to do is we'll have a loop at either end to make sure the trams are going the right way around. But around the towns, I want to have the fences. So if you think we're going to be coming down sort of along the river and what we may have to do is who can another stop down here or actually if we can can cut this back a little bit just for now and if we bring the station down here we might be able to use a stop that's already here but then again actually we might have to we might want this to be a quite a big hub if everyone from this end of the map's coming so I think yeah we'll make something down at this end or if we put this in first Sorry guys, I realise I'm a bit all over the place here, but I do want this to be right. So we go looping below. I don't want that because I don't want the road to be going through it after. Um, I wish there was a way to just have that loop, those two loops at the end and then the road ended. Um, I wonder actually, if I was to place this down as a test and then can I delete this piece of road now? It comes as a whole, a whole piece. Um, and I don't really want to be using the, the round loop again because we've used that already a little bit. Maybe we do just go with a normal a normal connection here like this. Um, we are going to want electric. We are, stopping point can be the centre. But if we have this as straight on as we can get it onto this road leaving town. Like so. And then before I forget, we'll go to the medium street and we'll upgrade all of this to ele uh, electric. So that this guy can come down. We'll again just adjust that route. So after number one, we want to come into here and then back around there. That works. So now we're future proof for connecting to this station. We don't have to worry about that later on. So now, as I said, coming into the town, what I want to do is have this um, track with fencing on. And I'm hoping, yes, you can see that that's picking up the station there. So we want the straight piece of track there. Then we want the tram, the new tram buildings. And do we go with the brown colour one? I'm going to put them both down here just to have a look at them and see which one we think looks better. Because when they're highlighted, it's hard to see. Um, right, okay. Now we do need to, it does say in the mod 
information on the Steam Workshops that you need to adjust the terrain yourself. It doesn't snap. So that's not an issue. We can look at that. But um, in terms of which one looks, but I think I'm going to go for the brown, uh, the brown style there. But if we get rid of those, just remove that track again just to give me a bit more space to work with. And then we want to paint this land. Um, it's been a while since I've painted the land, but let me have a look and see if I could find that exactly. Ah, paint tools, that's it. We well, go to grassy and turn the size down. Just to press the button on the side of my mouse and that really. Brush size. But that's got just the grass. Uh, vegetation, terrain tool. So what? We'll level it. We'll level it first. That brush size is a bit big. We just sort of level out this area to try and get a little, you know, a sort of flat area for the station and see how that works. Now I want to set it a little bit, a little bit away like that so that when we do put that building in, there we go, it looks like it should fit there. So now we want the paint tools. We don't want corn. We just want normal, everyday grass. I believe it's here. We've got the strength, but we'll turn the brush size down. What I'm trying to do here is get rid of this grass poking through, and I can't remember now for the life of me how you get rid of it. it doesn't seem to be doing anything here. For some reason, it doesn't look like it's painting over anywhere. If I was to get this... Ah, now that's working. There we go. And it's the grass that we want. So I'll have to come back and fix what the mess that I've just made over there. But all we need here is really a sort of probably a concrete colour to cover in. There we go, that looks a, a lot more acceptable, doesn't it? Uh, and then we'll come back around and we'll paint in the grass again here where we went, where we messed it up just. There we go. Okay. So now that's that, that. I'm happy with that. We may just need to move that to the right a little bit, centralise it. There we go. There we go. We've got no grass poking through, and that all looks good to me. So then, what I want to do now is put the loop in. Um, so we just want a simple turning loop here. Now it does when you pull off as a one way. It does automatically put this little kink in the in the track, and I'm not. Yeah, I wish, I wish it didn't do that, but unfortunately it, it just is what it is at that point. Now we just want a turning loop. It doesn't need to be uh, fast going around here at all. But I do want it to be, you know, not ridiculously, sh not a ridiculously sharp corner. How does that look? Yeah, that's not too bad coming around there. And we want to head back in that sort of direction to connect back in. There we go. That sort of works. I can live with that. That's not too aggressive. It comes round. Maybe that corner there actually is a little bit. We can neaten that out and bring it round a little bit smoother. Into there, no, doesn't want to do that. But if we pull it in, hit this way, maybe. Sorry, guys, I did get the new mouse the other day. I went for a, a Razer Naga, and it's got a lot of buttons on the side, and I keep sort of pressing them with my thumbs by accident. That's why I keep cancelling out of menus if you notice that. Okay, so then from here, so around the outskirts of town, we still want to have the track with fences. It is going to limit us to 25 mile per hour, but just while we leave the station, I'm happy with that. And we're going to get out and sort of follow the river along. And then we'll come down here, and as we're heading down the bank, we'll take those fences away. And it'll, it'll allow the tram drivers to open up the taps and pick up the pace. And we want to just gradually move along the side of the river. I want to try and not destroy any of these rocky crops because I think that sort of makes it and I, I wanted to avoid having a dead straight track I know light rail tends to be sort of and again I automatically think to Blackpool when I think of anything like this because really they're the only ones I've experienced those and I've been on a few of the trams in Amsterdam as well I have to say um, 
but yeah I, I, I like it to you know i don't want it to be just a dead straight run up and down i think that for us to be watching and, and riding along on i think that that'd be a, a little bit boring i like them to have, have some kind of character i think curving through these curving through most of this rocky uh rocky terrain and round following the river round i think uh, is the right way to do this and do we stop and no I, i'm what i'm conscious of is if we stop in slough we're going to take too much um too many of the passengers off the, the the normal route that we put in that cross country which is now actually going to need a new name isn't it this will be the, this will actually be the cross country There we go. I don't mind coming a little bit further away from the river here. Now we have the forest. That seems almost natural to me that that is what, what would happen. The forest there is itself is sort of a natural divide between the, the river and the land. Now, somewhere we need to cross this river. And I'm thinking where the road is already naturally squeezing us this way. Maybe we bridge across here on an angle. We've got a hill here. So if we can sort of land about here we can cross the river like this I actually really like that dark wood you know what I'm just going to go straight for that guys because I really like the look of that it reminds me very much of um, sort of gold, gold rush gold mining type of era type of vibe if you know what I mean if you know of any of the, the theme parks that have sort of the mine train roller coasters, it's that kind of vibe. Okay, that works for me. Now what I need to think of is how we're going to join in to this station here, because this is the idea. Now, the old route with the balloon tram stops at one of these stations, which was that one. So if we go into here now and we configure these terminals, Currently number two, the Edgeware Lothan, I want to move that onto three. So that opens up this one. So we now have a free terminal here. But how are we going to connect this into the road network? It's going to be with fences. See, I've got a feeling this is just going to get a little bit messy. Um, okay, now actually if we can get it, if we can get it to pull off at not too much of an aggressive angle, it's always these connections, but I'll tell you what we'll do, let me see if this works, we can do similar to what we did the other end, if we can first of all flatten the terrain, um, let's go up with the size, flatten this area here if I can connect in through here now that is connecting because it's connecting with that little pathway there if I was to put our building on the side it see that connects to everything which is exactly what we want we do need to do some painting again though and we need to find paint tools. Where did I find that before? Is that going to work? No, it's not. I always struggle to find exactly what I'm looking for when I'm doing this kind of thing. And obviously it all it makes it even worse about knowing that you guys are waiting on me and probably shouting at the screen saying, it's there you idiot. There we go. Does that soil texture work a bit better? Ah, that, that one looks a, bit, a little bit better, doesn't it? There we go. I mean, I can go around off camera and decorate some of this and make it look a little bit better. But as long as we've got no grass coming up for it for the minute, that's all I'm really bothered about right now. And then to run away from here, do we want to sort of head straight that direction? I don't really see why we wouldn't. There's no really ridiculous landscaping or anything in this direction, is there? I mean, that's going into a bit of a hill, isn't it, already? So maybe we start from this end. 
we start from here and start turning almost straight away just out this way keep that pretty level there we go I think that's going to work out better for us in the long run which way are we do we need to head straight over that way so we don't need to turn that much really keep that bit straight there put through is there another there's going to be another gully here isn't there okay let's just see what we can get if we go straight in how does that react so it does cut through there but it does snake a little bit Yeah, I'll take that. I do like that. I think it's it's coming up a little bit more this end now because we flattened that terrain to start with. I have just realised it doesn't look like we've got electric on any of this. <laughs> so we're going to have to go back and update that again as well. Okay, now we need to do another loop here. Again, pressing random buttons on the mouse. It's always a nightmare to me trying to trying to make a, you know a decent circle in this game. I, I always have the same trouble with them doing it with roads as well. There we go. That's fine. And then we can add one of the depots maybe in. Or a depot into it at either end of this. It would work pretty well, I think. But what I do need to do is go around and upgrade this all to electric before we forget. And I also just realised that we even did the out of town bit with fences down here. So. What I don't want is to have fences all the way along here because otherwise it's going to slow that speed down, isn't it? And now we can start opening the taps and doing long over the longer distances. And where did we say we wanted the fence to go to about there, maybe? There we go, and hopefully that's everything with catenary now. And that should run us the whole length. And that should, once we get some trams running on it, connect everything back up that wasn't... That station's now connected. We've taken out... The only thing we are now missing is this one stop here. I believe it's all covered by that. It is for now. So we might have to look at later on at putting another stop in over here and going that way around the town. I mean, we could just move these, these stops here to there and then already come that way, but I don't think it's needed at the minute. But if we go for now a tram depot, oh, maybe we can't fit one inside one of these loops, or maybe we do go and edit it and put this, put this in the middle. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll have a think about that off camera. I think for now I'm going to put one on the end here because that opens us up to that run then. And do we want a platform on either side? We've got the the cross in there, so I don't see why not. Why would we not go for that? It may need some more grass painting. Which, as we've discovered, is not my not my forte really. If I turn that brush down. It does seem to cause me all manner of problems whenever I try painting grass out of this game. There we go, that's got it all out of the out of the platform that side I believe, or there may be a little bit just at the back here. There we go. And then do we need to do the same down at that other end? Do we need another station that side, uh, that end down at Louth? Where are we? Yeah. Do we need another one at Louth? Um you would, you just would, wouldn't you? There's no, there's no reason why we wouldn't do. That's the the problem I'm sort of getting at. That's too big. Um, that looks more like it. 
and then we just want to find some it's the wrong grass on the original grass okay, and then I've just put that all back over the platform again by the look of it it really turned down this brush size I will go around uh, at the end of the episode myself guys and correct all of this don't worry so for now we'll just get it somewhere near and I'll, I'll play with that after but now we've got to decide what trams we are going to have on this route so let me just double check those speeds again so the top speed is 37 miles per hour in the open and 25 with fence 37 miles per hour is the quickest we do only need passengers so 30 so we've got 43 25 miles per hour there 37 on the tack t ones so it may be a case if we stick more balloon trams on this line i'm just wondering whether in the next couple of years we've got anything new coming through we're in november if i just fast forward here let's see if anything comes in 1945 you never know we might get something at the end of the year that will make this uh an opportunity to use something new doesn't look like anything's come through there now and it does make sense to have it as i keep referring back to blackpool at blackpool it ran along the coast so i'm happy to stick a couple of balloon trams on here i don't know how busy this is going to be so for now we'll go with four of these guys we want a new line and we want to go from mill lane here and we want to go up to louth here that has picked it up correctly and what do we want to call this line now? I think for now, it'll be TP for tram passenger. And this will be the Newark Louth Express. I'm going to change the colour that to make it a little bit easier to see. Actually, it's the same colour as the other tram route now, isn't it? So we'll go for a dark green. There we go, so let's have a look at how these guys get on. I still really do like these trams. I know it's not ideal how they clip through the, the cable at the top, but they do look great. I want to see what they look like when he's just going down the coastal road. So we've got the fenced road here still now. And it opens out here, and you can see the speed's increasing now as well. And as I said, eventually, guys, what I plan on doing is taking this a little bit further and going all the way down to Canterbury. I was in two minds as to whether to run this route that we're actually on now or whether we run it from the top end of the map across. So it was either from Newark to Louth and then Canterbury or the other option I was thinking is West Bedlington, Nottingham, Slough, Bexhill, Durham. I mean, we could even do another one there until we have a cross on the map, but I don't want to completely get rid of the need for those routes that we've already put in. That's the issue. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And another thing that I did find, guys, um, in between episodes, was this little cross-country route here that's delivering uh, food one way and construction materials the other way. I originally had two boxcars and two state cars, because the state cars were delivering construction materials. Now, I believe and right in saying that on, a, on, on trains usually have to have state cars for construction materials, but then I noticed that if I was to go to change this vehicle, I click construction materials here, you can put construction materials in the goods wagons as well as food. So one way it was filling with construction materials using the state cars and, and these, cover, these goods wagons. But on the way back, only the goods wagons were filling with food because the food couldn't go into these state cars. You can see here, look, the state cars, the flat cars, sorry, have construction materials, but they can't carry food. So when I was doing it with the, I had this cons consist before, but a one way it would only fill half with food. Whereas now because I've put four covered wagons on it, it can be completely full both ways. So that then obviously has a knock on effect and it brings more construction materials one way and it brings more food up this way uh, so the lines are actually becoming really profitable i mean if we have a look at the profits here we've got a couple of things that are losing here which is the brand new network we've just put in which is understandable 
TP Southeastern, by the look of it, was just losing a bit. But we've got 16 passengers, four on that one, two on that one. So yeah, there is a there isn't a great demand for passengers on that route for some reason. I would have thought that'd have a, a higher a higher footfall of people, but maybe that's because we've just cancelled that other route. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will be. There's none of the people coming down from Slough now. So that should probably kick back into profit again. Edgware to Louth has lost a, lost a bit of business again. It's lost the passengers coming that way. So those three should all turn around into profitability again. But as you can see here, guys, we're making an absolute fortune. We're up to 94 million. Money worries are well and truly non-existent anymore, I believe. It is just the case now if we're just waiting for new vehicles to be able to upgrade. And especially... Well, I can't wait to get into sort of the 2000s eras with the new modern day trams and things as well and to see what that allows us to do with cargo and how many, you know, more kinds of connection that gives us. I want to start looking at some road networks like some decent junk, like motorway style junctions and uh, get a couple of roundabouts in maybe. But for now, guys, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. We are approaching the half an hour mark now. Um, but thank you as always for joining me. As I said at the start of the episode, please let me know down below whether you'd be happy for me to skip forward a few years. It's um, it's just going to enable us to unlock a lot more content, really, and a lot more vehicles to play with. Because over the next sort of 40 to 50 years in game here, there's not there's only one or two trams that get upgraded, and it's going to be uh, really scarce for the content otherwise. As I think, if we can jump forward towards it to towards the end of the 1900s. It's going to give us a lot more to play with and sort of keep the episodes flowing a lot better. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. As always, I appreciate if you've stuck around for this long. It does show me in my analytics at the minute that only 30% of you guys watching are subscribed. And we are really fastly approaching the 1,000 subscriber mark now. So please, if you're getting some kind of value from the content, do hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a hell of a lot. And it just makes it all worthwhile for me, as well as the enjoyment of doing it myself. So thanks again and I will catch you all in the next episode.